What's up, YouTube? This is Jeremy. I'm a library associate here at the Mandel Public Library of West Palm Beach in the technology department. I'm in our music and podcasting digital studio here on the second floor. So for this DIY project, I'm going to be showing y'all how to add music and sounds to your podcast recordings. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and open up Audacity. Here's Audacity. Always want to make sure I got my microphone selected, output selected. That's good. I'm just going to record a quick little podcast introduction. Welcome to DIY Digital Projects brought to you by the Mandel Public Library of West Palm Beach. I'm your host, Jeremy. Let's just see what that sounds like. Welcome to DIY Digital Projects brought to you by the Mandel Public Library of West Palm Beach. I'm your host, Jeremy. All right, good enough. So now let's jazz it up a little bit and add some dramatic music. So I'm going to go ahead and open my favorite web browser, Google Chrome. And we're going to go to freemusicarchive.org. This is an excellent resource for free music, music under the Creative Commons. Creative Commons licensed music means it's music you can use for free without paying any royalties or anything like that. There are some restrictions, though. For example, if I open up the license settings, some of it is not licensed for commercial use, so if you're working on a commercial podcast or a podcast that you think you might want to make some money from through ad sales or anything like that, make sure you find music allowed for commercial use by selecting this box. We're a library though, and we're not going to make money off of this, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that unselected. It may take some time to find a track that you want to use that's just right for your podcast that leaves just the right first impression. An artist I know we use a lot in our library podcast, Voices from the Stacks, is Ketza. Let's see, what might be a good introduction to a podcast? Start of Something Beautiful sounds nice. Let's preview this. Kind of a nice, positive, uplifting kind of introduction. Let's go with that. So I'm going to click on the track title, Start of Something Beautiful. So this is the page for this song. It also includes the license. So here it indicates it's an attribution, non-commercial, no derivatives kind of Creative Commons license. So I can't remix this to make my own music, but I can use this for a podcast as long as I give an attribution to the artist Ketza, and as long as I'm not making any money from the podcast. So I can actually copy this and include it in my show notes or on the website. However, I'm releasing my podcast so that this artist is properly credited. So to download this track, I'm going to go ahead and click this down arrow download button, and I'm going to agree to the terms saying that I'm going to use this track according to these restrictions for this license. So here it's downloaded. I can see it's downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and show it in the folder. There it is in my downloads folder. I'm going to minimize my browser. And now all I really have to do is click and drag into an open spot on Audacity. I can see just looking at it that it's a pretty loud track. I know I'm not going to want it that loud. So I'm actually going to select my envelope tool, click anywhere on the timeline here, bring it down a little bit and make it a little quieter so I can hear myself talk. Let's hear what it sounds like. I'm going to mash that space button to play it from the beginning. Welcome to DIY Digital Projects brought to you by the Mandel Public Library of West Palm Beach. It's all right, but actually I might want the intro or the first bit here to be about the same volume, but as I can see the song is fading in, I don't want it to get too loud, so I'm going to create a new node point here on the envelope tool so you can see you can adjust make different sections louder or quieter by clicking and dragging this looks right let's see how it sounds welcome to diy digital projects brought to you by the mandel public library of west palm beach you might need to take some time to adjust all your levels and your timing and everything until you're happy with how it sounds. You definitely want to make sure that your speech is not being drowned out by the music. Welcome to DIY Digital Projects brought to you by the Mandel Public Library of West Palm Beach. I'm your host, Jeremy. That's all right, I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna keep it how it is. 
So right now, if I were to export this file as a podcast, you'd have a little bit of me talking and then the entire rest of the song. That's not really what I want. I don't want the song to go on that long. So I'm going to use my selection tool up at the top here. I'm going to click and drag, and I'm going to get rid of about this much. I have it highlighted. You can see it's got the white background. I'm going to hit delete, get rid of that. And then I'm going to add a little fade out. So I'm going to add a new little node here, drag it down. So now it fades out. That's sounding all right. But you know what? I want to add some applause. So I'm going to go back to my web browser. I'm going to open a new tab. And this time I'm going to go to freesound.org. While Free Music Archive is wonderful for finding music under various Creative Commons licenses, Free Sound is kind of a similar thing, but for sound effects, sound assets. I'm going to type in the search box here, applause, and mash enter. Let's see what this sounds like. That sounds pretty good. So this one, under the license area here, you can see it's actually licensed under the Creative Commons Zero license, which means basically it's been donated to the public domain. So you can use this for anything. There's no restrictions. You don't even have to credit the artist. However, for freesound.org, you do have to create an account and log in. If you don't have an account, you can click register up here. I do have an account, so I'm going to hit log in. And then we're going to jump ahead a little bit in the video so nobody out there in YouTube land steals my login. See you in a second. All right, and we're back. So now that I've logged in, this download button is active. I'm going to mash download. I can see now that download has started. This is a WAV file. WAV files tend to be pretty big, so it's taking a second here. But I can be patient. All right, then it's done. I didn't even have to be too patient. So now I'm going to go back to my file explorer. Because I already have the downloads open. I don't want this one. This is a temporary download file. You want this one. It's a WAV file. Once again, I'm going to click and drag into an empty space in Audacity. So now here it's giving me an option of whether I want to make a copy of the files before editing or whether I want it to read the files directly from the original. If you read the files directly from the original, anytime that file is moved, like if I move it from the downloads folder or if I rename it or something, Audacity is not going to be able to find it. You're going to have to fix that. It's much easier on yourself in the future if you just make sure it's make a copy of the files before editing. If I was doing this on my own computer, I would check this don't warn again and always use my choice above because that's always the choice I use. But since I am using a public computer here in the digital studios, I'm going to leave it alone and not check that so everyone in the future still has this choice just in case they want to choose differently. So I'll just hit OK. And there it is down here. Let's see what this sounds like now. I'm going to hit the home key to move my cursor back to the beginning. And then I'm going to hit the space bar to play it. Welcome to DIY Digital Projects brought to you by the Randall Public Library of West Palm Beach. I'm your host, Jeremy. So the applause is pretty loud. It's kind of drowning everything else out. I'm going to use this envelope tool and make it a little quieter. And I know I'm going to want to fade it out. So I'm going to do that. I also don't think it makes sense for people to start clapping before I announce the podcast. So to adjust my timing, I'm going to trim some space here, highlight, hit delete. Don't really need this while I'm at it. And then I'm going to use this time shift tool. I can hit F5 or I can select this icon here. It's that double ended little line segment with the two arrowheads. So now I can click and drag to move tracks around on the timeline. Let's make sure this applause comes in a little bit later. Welcome to DIY Digital Projects, brought to you by the Mandel Public Library of West Palm Beach. I'm your host, Jeremy. That sounds all right, but now I actually want to add a little bit more of a gap so the applause starts fading as I introduce myself. So I'm going to hit this selection tool. I'm going to pick this place that I want to put a gap. Now I'm going to hit edit, clip boundaries, split. I can also just hold control and hit I. And now there's a split. 
So now when I select my time shift tool, I can move this back a little bit. That's looking pretty good. Let's see what it sounds like. Welcome to DIY Digital Projects, brought to you by the Mandel Public Library of West Palm Beach. I'm your host, Jeremy. I want that fade out to be a little slower, so it doesn't sound like people are suddenly ceasing to applaud when I say my name. That doesn't feel good for me. Let's see what this sounds like now. Welcome to DIY Digital Projects, brought to you by the Mandel Public Library of West Palm Beach. I'm your host, Jeremy. Uh, that's all right. This is a usable introduction to a podcast, so I'm going to save this so I can use it later for my future podcasts. So first I'm going to save the project. I'll hit Control S. I'm going to find my location where I want to save this. Right now I just want to save it to the desktop. It's going to be easier on yourself if you organize where you want to save your projects to instead of trying to move everything later. But for now, this is just a temporary little demo. I'll just save it to the desktop and we'll call this Jeremy's Podcast Intro Save. And there it is on the desktop. So now I can come back here later, open this project up and continue editing it. However, this is not a good format for sharing it with the world. I do want to include this as a podcast, so I'm going to have to export this into a format that I can put on the internet for people to listen to in their podcast player of choice. So I'm going to hit File, Export, and I'm going to export this as an MP3. That's kind of the standard file format for podcasts. Save it to my desktop as well. Quality doesn't have to be super good. It is just a podcast. It's not music. The lower the quality of your export, the quicker it is to download. So I'm just going to stick with standard. That sounds fine. I'm not going to mess with any of this right now. Actually, I will select force export to mono just because it'll reduce the file size to give people an even quicker download in their podcast player. And I'll hit save. It's just give me a warning that my stereo tracks like this cuts a song are going to be mixed down into a single mono channel. So you're going to hear the same thing in the left and the right speakers. And I'll hit OK. Right now it's getting all of this metadata from the Ketsa song. None of that's true. I'm going to hit Clear. Artist name is going to be me. Track title, I'm just going to call it Jeremy's Podcast Intro. I don't really care too much about the rest of this. For genre, I'll put podcast. Comments, this is a nice place to put a link to your website. No one's going to see this metadata unless they open it up in iTunes or something or look at the file more closely, but it's not really going to show up in podcast players. This is just in case people want to download it. I'll hit OK. Now it's exported. Let's give it a listen. Welcome to DIY Digital Projects brought to you by the Mandel Public Library of West Palm Beach. I'm your host, Jeremy. Nice. And we're all set, so I can actually drag this into any podcasts in the future that I do. So, for example, if I create a new project, I'm going to drop this in here. I already have my intro worked out. Maybe I'll add another track and then I'll record, let's say, the rest of the episode of a podcast. Today we're going to be talking about DIY digital projects you can do at the library. Let's play from the middle. I'm your host, Jeremy. Today we're going to be talking about DIY digital projects you can... There you go. Now you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time. I'm not going to save this though. You do want to remember to properly attribute the artists that need to be attributed. We don't need to drop a link or give any licensing information for this one because it is in the public domain because of that Creative Commons Zero license. But this Ketza... Do you want to copy this into the show notes or put it on the website for your podcast or something like that? Just so people know you used Ketz's music. This is what the song's called. This is the license. And that's it. Have fun. I hope you have a great time making podcasts of your own. I'll see you next time.